We are in uh, County Court today. We are at uh, McCarthy Plant and Agri Sales, catching up with Connor. And Connor's going to tell us a little bit about the business, when it started, and how they've progressed to where they are today. So over to you, Connor. <laughs> no pressure now. <laughs> Not much, no. Uh, I suppose it, it started in 1994. Um, John, being a son of an agricultural contractor, decided to go selling machinery of his own accord. Uh, started with some various agencies at the beginning. It grew and grew and grew and it kind of grew into a monster pretty quickly, um, taking on some of the major brands over the years. Um, I suppose in 2002, Class came knocking. Class took on, or he took on the Class brand for Monster, the first year being a huge success. From there, it grew and grew and grew, and in 2006, Due to an unfortunate situation, John was no longer able to run the company. So in the fall of 2008, uh, Tim stepped in, my own father. He ran it on a day-to-day -day basis up until the end of 2008. 2009 took over for the first time and I suppose we are here since. But we called down because you're running an event, as we can see behind you over your shoulder, you're 25 years in yeah. business. So to celebrate that, you're running an event. Tell us a bit about what you're doing and who you have coming to it. And um, yeah, so we kind of kicked off the idea we're going to have something small, a bit of a celebration as 25 years in business. Um, but I suppose to attract a crowd and to be a little different, you have to be different. And, and in that, we pushed the boat out a good bit, as you can see. Guest speakers were, yourself will be there. Um, <laughs> Justin McCarthy, editor of the Farmers Journal, yeah. and Mae McHugh, director of the National Plowing Association. So we do have a lot of guys coming. Big discounts on parts inside in the parts department. Uh, as you can see, there's a raffle for a Brahan trailer, um, along with a raffle for Mary Hospice, which do an awful lot of work in Cork. It's done on a voluntary basis, so it's nice to incorporate a local charity into the event too, and hopefully it'll attract think, attention yeah. in, that, in that way. And it's held here, this is like your HQ. Yeah, so we're just about nine miles from Cork City on the east on the Waterford side. This is where it all began, I suppose, and it is only right to call it headquarters. We do have another branch in Lissavard, but the, the open event will be happening here. 25 years since the first 880 was launched. Class have relaunched the 880 again, and with, we've actually sold the first one in Ireland, so it will be present on the day. But is the 880 going to be as popular as the 970 within the two ranges, in your opinion? I think for us, the 880 will be as popular as the 970 in regard that there's a customer for each of them. Mm -hmm. The guys that are out there that are buying 800 series machines every couple of years will more than likely stick with their 800 series machines. And the guys that have the 900 series, the 970s, the 980s, they will change them for new ones. But when you go out into the workshop and you go into your second hand stock that you can see, you can see the attention to detail. Yeah. You know, like you're, you're going through them and you're even round to painting it to pick up reels and stuff like that there to make sure they're, you know, but I think, Yeah, I know you're right. I think that, that, that kind of goes back to Tim. That would be more his angle and things that, and look, I'd agree with him. 110% that first impressions are everything. So I think once you get a machine in, it's only fitting being a main dealer that you go through it top to toe and make the machine presentable. I spy a certain 980 out there as well. Yeah, it's the one that was on your camera earlier on in the year. And uh, that's just... That's just done for a service. Just a full service, in the year service. Um, go through the machine, as I said, top to toe. What about the tractor, Connor? The tractor is growing in Ireland, definitely. Um, they've come a long way since 2005, and I don't think anybody can argue with that statement. I suppose Class's ambition is that by having over 50% of the market share in combines and foragers, their aim is that every guy with a forager or a combine ends up with one class tractor and it's a realistic goal to set and I think it's a realistic goal to hit. I think the, the tractor that they're starting to make inroads with is definitely an Arian 600, 650, 660. It'll do everything. It'll pull your 3,000 gallon tank, it'll pull your 5 for a plow, it'll run your two mowers, it'll do everything that a, a, a contractor really needs it to do. Well, you'll have to see if you can get us one organised for a week sometime to see if we can drive it. I think it's only fair that we get you sitting in one. <laughs> Is looking after all the foragers you have out there, is that not quite hard work when it comes to the middle of May and the sun it, shining? It is, I, I, I won't disagree, it is hard work, but I think a lot of it comes down to is, is good organisation. Um, having backup machines ready to go, I think with the amount of foragers that we're selling, it's not feasible to have no machine parked in the yard that can't immediately go to grass. We do have a lot of loyal, loyal customers out there that 
there's repeat business with them. So at the end of the day, if they are stopped, um, downtime isn't an option really. We will work as best we can to get the customer going within the day, and if we can't, there's obviously. And like the, no matter what, there's machines will always give trouble. They're not even necessarily uh, their own mechanical issues, but they will pick up foreign objects. Things will yeah. happen, and the machine can very quickly get down. Yeah, that look. That's that's the risk you run any day. You go into a field of grass. You don't know what's going to be inside the next part, so it is a chance you'll take. But to be fair to everyone here, from the service department to the parts department, once. Once the first of May hits, everyone pulls together. We're all there for one reason, and that's to keep every class forager going as best we can.